Wow. Is this gonna be annoying? Probably. Who cares? Hey, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today is another recent reads kind of a video um, where I'm gonna try to very quickly just go through some books I've read recently. That's basically the aim of the game. <laughs> and um, I keep looking at to the to the right because um, so these, I have some plushies um, above my bookshelves and uh, Oliver decided that they should not be there so I... now they're right next to me <laughs> that is yeah <laughs> so I need to pull this chair up right next to me so, some recent reads that I have been reading are some chunky books. So, got some chunky books. So, let's just start with the, the top one. Not sure which order I read these in. It was some kind of order. It doesn't really matter because they were between like my series books that I'm kind of kind of vlog. I've somehow ended up vlogging like series don't know how I ended up doing that maybe I will go into vlogging just single books I don't know we shall see anyway so the first book I have is Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff so I'm not sure which side to have it on because the sun is literally right there um so I got this little Watchstones exclusive? Yes. I think it came out in the beginning of the year. Not that it matters, but this book came out last year, I believe. At least everyone was talking about it last year. <sighs> I know, I, I mean, I watched a lot of videos from, um, like, J. Crystal fans, let's say. Uh, like, they've loved his previous books, not all of them, but most of them. And when they read this book, they were like, no. <laughs> I was like, okay then. Um, I still kind of wanted it because I thought this cover was super cool. And also, I do like the, um, the gold version of it because it does look different, the other versions. But... It's a chunky, 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 chunky book. Immediate feels I got when I started reading this book was, is this interview with a vampire? Possibly. Because, <laughs> I mean, the whole book is this guy telling this other guy, this vampire guy, about his life, about finding out who or, like, what he is and like the whole shebang so there was another like reference i got when reading the book but i forgot what it was the whole the whole thing was interview with a vampire kind of a deal and i mean i wasn't upset about it it was kind of a different take on it i thought it was kind of an easy read despite being this chunky and you know not having the biggest font I still flew through it so I mean I think it might have helped let's see so there's like loads of uh, graphics like that throughout the book let's see if I can find someone else someone else something else one of, one of the other ones um, and like the 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 middle chapters is the middle chapters the divide is I don't know what um, they're really cool the only thing I want to say about the, like, graphics is that they are so black. They're, like, so black. Um, and by that, I mean, sh I mean, um, so they're in black and white, which, I mean, fair enough, but they're so dark. Um, I wish there could have been some colour to them, not gonna lie. I mean, there might be colour to, to the, um, to the graphics in other versions but 
you could have put some color in this one I'm not gonna lie really the only j Crystal book i've read um like only j Crystal is never night had to think about that one so the only only j Crystal book i've read is never night and i wasn't the biggest fan <laughs> Mostly because when I was reading it, I was like, why am I reading the same chapter over and over again just from like different points of views? Not really different points of views, but like slightly different changes. It was confusing and uh, yeah, the fact that I was reading it when I was super tired wasn't helping. However, oh, and also like the second J. Christoph book I read is uh, the one with Amy Kaufman. That trilogy in space. Oh my god, I'm blanking. I know book two and three are called Gemini and Obsidio. So why can't I think of what the first book is called? Because I've read that one, I've not read book two and three. Wow. Okay, not the point though. Um, so like that book, I can't really judge because there's two authors and judging a like duo author kind of a book is, I don't know how to do that because I don't know them from before. So like seeing who's written what part, I can't figure that out. Like I said, never know. I might have to reread it because I do want to finish it because I kind of do want to know what happens in the end but yeah um so this one has well no it doesn't have one yet but it's supposed to be having a uh there is a sequel coming out at some point in time who what when where I don't know but um yeah I shall want to know what happens although I do feel like it was just like it could have finished where it finished, but also like, well, I can, I can know more if you give me more. Decent? Is it my new favourite book? No, but it was a good time. So there's that. I mean, let's, let's move on. So the next book I have is Dark Age by Piers Brown. So I read the first like trilogy um red rising so red rising is a red rising golden sun and morning star it's a morning star golden sun it's one of the ones um i really enjoyed that the first trilogy as it were even though i can't remember if book two is book three or book three is book two doesn't matter beside the point uh i really enjoyed that one but then Iron Gold came, book number four, like the continuation saga of The Red Rising. So the first trilogy, you can just read the first trilogy and be fine with it. Uh, but then if you continue on with like the saga of it all, uh, it's going to be like what happens after, <laughs> basically. What happens after the war, after the takeover, after everything. So it's basically a here comes the cleanup crew. <laughs> I hated Iron Gold. Well, hate is a strong word. Um, I didn't like it. I really did not like it, like, at all. I felt like it was, like, first of all, there were... So, in the first trilogy, we are just following the one character, and it's a lot simpler in that way. And once we get to Iron Gold, we are following very many characters. We're following multiple characters, which is fine. It's like, it's what happens in fantasy. It's, it's normal. However, I felt like all the characters, it was like all the characters was trying to do too many things at once and none of them were like getting enough time and then none of them were actually coming to a conclusion or of anything it was just like so many balls up in the air and yeah so basically too many characters too many things happening and like no resolutions it was just a lot it was a lot 
And I read that. I read that physically, and then I listened to the audiobook as well. So I read that two times in a week. Twice in a week. Yeah. Well, I, reading it physically took about four weeks, but I did listen to the audiobook in like a day. <laughs> a day and a half. Let's be honest. It's like, like 30 hours or something. Now, Dark Age... First of all, I want to I want to ask whoever printed this book because this is broken and I have loose pages. This is a complaint. Fix my book. Uh no. Um I liked Dark Age a lot more than I did Iron Gold. There's still a lot of characters. There's still a lot happening. But it's like we're moving along further along. We're moving further along along the the story. We're getting more of it, but you know, still not enough. Because I do believe there's gonna be two more books uh after this one. That's gonna be con the conclusion of that. Um, because apparently one was not enough, so we get two. Uh and probably gonna be this size as well, so yay, piss brown. I am excited to see like the full conclusion of it because we don't get that in this but I don't know if it was because I'd read Iron Gold and I kind of gotten more familiar with the characters because most of the characters we like follow or meet in Iron Gold we've already met in the previous book so we kind of know them but from this time around we're like in their eyes we're getting their point of view of things we're like in their brain getting their thoughts uh and i don't know if it helped although it's been like eight months or so since i read iron gold and i read this now it must be more than eight months though because i think it was july and it's so it's more like 10 months 11 I don't know how to do maths, okay? Anyway, like this better than Iron Gold. Still prefer the original trilogy. I do kind of wonder if we needed more. But also, I like that there's more. I'm very conflicted. So, Pierce Brown, get to writing the rest of the book so I can finish this story and then get to write his mother book because I do want to know how your writing is. That made no sense. I do want to see your writing other things. That made more sense. So, for the last book in this video because there's a lot. So, I read the first one. Let me tell you what book I'm talking about. So this is Blade Breaker, blah, 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 blah. This is Blade Breaker by Victoria Aveyard and it's the second book in the Round Breaker series. I read the first one, I wanna say it's like a year and a half ago, a bit more than that possibly. So it, it had been a while since I read the first one. I did not pick it up again just before starting this one i just saw it on my shelf and went well not technically on my shelf on my book cart more like i saw it in my book cart and went i kind of want to read this now so i'm gonna do that so i picked it up and can we appreciate the sprayed edges first yeah yeah <laughs> the first book round breaker i did like that well enough not a new favorite but intriguing enough to like wanna wanna know more <laughs> um i do remember saying something along the lines of that there were too many characters to keep a track of and yes there are um as in most fantasy <laughs> and so in the beginning of round breaker we have like multiple characters they're like in multiple places and then they sort of like come together and go the, on this journey together. When we start off this one, most of the characters are in the same place because they're in the same, like, company. However, picking this one up, I felt like I was picking up a brand new book. I had to go out, I had to, I had to go grab the first one and, like, check, are these the same characters? They are, by the way. 
um, because I felt like these are brand new characters. These are not the same characters as the first one. Character names are the same. I still felt that after finishing the book, the characters were not the same as the first one. They felt like completely different people. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. I want to say I liked the first book better than this one, but also I kind of enjoyed the journey of it all. But being this thick, there's not a lot actually happening. So that's confusing. But anyway, um, so it's set to be like a multiple book series, but I don't know how many books that's going to be. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see, I suppose. Um, but if they keep bringing like sprayed edges like this, I'm going to keep buying them. So, you know, there you go. Three chunky books. I do wish they were all like the same size. Could have done that, but... Oh, three chunky books. So yeah, this is me telling you what I think about the books without actually telling you what the books are about. So maybe I should start like leaving the links to like the Goodread page or something down below. Let's see if I remember that when I'm uploading this. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you've read any of these books, please let me know your thoughts on them. And uh, maybe I can remember what other books Empire of the Vampire reminded me of. Because it was more than Interview with a Vampire. I know that. But this is the thing with not writing things down all the time. I just read and then I forget what I was thinking at the time. Happens to the best of us. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.